Hi folks, got a nice little riverside scene for you today. So let's quickly whisk through the materials. Now the colours I use for this one are ultramarine, lemon yellow, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. Brush has got a large on ransonake, small on ransonake, quarter inch flat, got a, a small sword liner and a number three rigger. And the paper is £130 Fabriano cold pressed. Right, let's kick this one off with not a huge amount of water, just enough to give it a very light coating all the way over. And I'm going to start off with some light background colours. Just whizzing through this little section here. Just a bit of light colours here and there. And I'm going to reflect all of those in the water below. The water's about three quarters of the way the paint the horizon line. No, just a very very loose bit of paint and then going into a bit of ultramarine and just suggesting a little bit of blue. You can have some of that in the water as well down there. Right, switching to the sword liner brush now, I'm going to start printing all the trees and twigs and things. So just mixing all those colours together, but leaning towards blue. I'm going to start popping in loads and loads, putting down the reflections at the same time. A lot of these will just fade off, but some will remain and just give that impression of distant trees reflected in the water below. So they're like the vertical ones, they have a few going on at a slant, some going to the left, some going to the right, and then some branches going horizontally as well, all the lateral ones. But this is all in the background. And then what I'll do next is pop that brush out of the way. And I'll get into a bit of yellow, a bit of raw sienna. I'm just going to mark out where the land is now. So it's, I'm just holding the end of the brush as well. Just, it's just a very, very loose way of just marking out where the land is. So there's sort of somewhere there's a put there. And that's down there, something like that. And it sort of comes down there a bit. And we sort of back over there. And this comes down. A bit like that. So just give me an idea of where the banks are. So at this point I'm just going to pull this tight. The paper stretched a little bit from watering it right at the very beginning before we started the watercolour. So I'm going to go back to the sword liner brush. <coughs> Incidentally I'm constantly referring to the reference photo. If you're watching on Patreon, patreon.com slash Stephen Crane, you'll see the reference photograph underneath this painting so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm looking at compare and contrast and try and think you know, how would you interpret the photograph yourself would you do it the same way I've done it or would you do it a different way it's always interesting to see people's different interpretations um, and then the other advantage and if you are watching on Patreon remember keep posting your own paintings on the community page so we can all see what you're up to and also I can see how you've interpreted this photograph yourself. Always interesting to see people's different interpretations. You can use the same reference photograph with 100 people and just get 100 completely different paintings, it's amazing. So, patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin to see what I'm doing here, plus see everybody else's 
paintings as well. I hope you can join me over there. Would be very much appreciated. So that's a few more trees and things popped in. Now this time I'm going to do this a little bit stronger. So we've got a bit of, bit of green stuff down there, pull down the reflection. A little bit of red as well down there. Red and blue always works nice together. And this is coming down something like that. Before I think before I go any further, I might start popping back to the sword liner and start popping in some bigger trees. Because I can see a couple on the reference photograph on the right hand side. What I'm going to do is just press down a little bit stronger and you can see a broader stroke. Same again. Pop down the reflection. Brown and blue because I want to go a bit darker. Um, stronger ones over on this side as well. I think I can see just something over there. And then we've got, there's a, like a big one coming out sideways like that. And also some coming down there. And that. Loads coming off the top. I probably only use a couple of brushes with this. Sorry, three brushes. I think there is a little flap that I use for the uh, for the darker the darker marks. So I'm going back to the lights. I've got on this side is look there's a big massive tree trunk. Just bring that down there. Something like that. Let's bring that down a little better. For this one, because we've got a, I'm going to pop a big trunk in now, so I'm going to use the height brush for this. So I'm just going brown and blue. And we've got like a big, big, big one going up. Something like that. Pop some sort of reflection below. There's also, let's pop a big one on the left as well. Big one on the left going up there. Now what I use, I'm just going to switch to the third brush now, which is a little quarter inch flat brush. And I'll just use this for putting dark marks on. It's just a bit of 
stick a bit of red, bit of brown, bit of blue. Now I can see, I'm going to hold it like this as well, try and get some sort of random marks. Um, so, I'm just soften that off, didn't mean to do that. It's what I like about water glue, you can get your fingers in there and make all loads of marks. That would be a reflection, that would. Let's make that a little bit stronger. Just be fine. I have lost slightly. That should have been a little bit higher, but I ain't going to worry too much. I ain't going to worry. Um, In now there's some darks on this side as well. Let's just put some fingers in there as well. Let's mix it all up a bit. I don't want to get too too mad with these darks. Again, have some sort of reflection of those darks underneath. Let's just strengthen those. We've also got some darks. Switch back. Let's try the little height brush. Let's try the little height brush for a change. And then what I'm going to do is give us a bit of green, a bit of raw sienna, a bit of green. It's just up. Clean that. It's got a little bit dirty, so I'm just cleaning it right on the towel. And then and there is a bit, of, a bit of grass down here. So I'm just going to just hint at some sort of grass effect. Make sure that's flat. to the sword liner, bit of brown, bit of red, bit of blue. We've got a whole load of 
things growing up here now. We've got some twigs coming down there. Things growing around there. whole thing's just looking a little bit bland I think so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a quick dry and let's, let's try and liven it up a little bit so I'm just going to give it a little bit of water. See the water is just going to loosen everything up, loosen it right up, and then I'm going to go in with some little big strokes, little strokes, Let's just strengthen that a little bit. Strengthen those reflections. I'm tempted to just do away with that bottom left bit of grass that was there. It's not really doing a fat lot. Just getting in the way, I thought. I said I'm going to have that as reflections. Right slightly. Now I want to strengthen some of these tree trunks. So a bit of brown, red, blue mixed together. Let's go up. stronger, get the reflection in. Let's 
strengthen these as well. Back to that little flat brush, now apply some darks. So I was doing them with a with a height brush then but I feared I would I'd overdo them. Let's dry that now, I think. So a quick dry. Back to the sword liner, the red, brown and blue. And let's pop some of these, let's just strengthen some of these on there. the reflections at the same time. Giving all sorts of directions as well. Flick a few up there. And obviously they need to be the further and further away you go, the sort of lighter the just lighter touch. I think it's it's better than it was. I think I'm just going to stop there now before I, I, I completely ruin it. I think I think I've faffed with it enough. I think. Um, I'm just going to sign it now, I think. So I'm just going to grab the 
the Riga brush. Just sign this thing. So let's just stick my name down in the corner and call that one finished. So let's stick a mouse on that now and see what it looks like. So here's the finished painting. So if we go and have a closer look at it. So right at the back there, you can see a little bit of pale blue so it's representing the sky, which has reflected most of the central part of the painting in the water. And then raw sienna and lemon yellow in the background, again, pull down the reflections at the same time. So the banks, we've started coming on along the banks, popped in the darks there pops in the reflections as well. It was tempting to scrape in a few rocks and stones, but I didn't do it in this one. Although the temptation was always there. Um, the sort of initial first sort of wash, if you like, was, I thought it was a bit bland. So I just re-wet the whole thing, just to loosen it all up. And I think the result is a little bit better. It's still not perfect. Now I've, I've sort of varied, I, I've, I've sort of varied a little bit from the reference photograph. Um, which patrons will be able to uh, compare it to. If you look down the bottom of the, the screen, see the reference photograph down there. But on the whole, I've just kept the general elements roughly the same. Strengthen the trees, as well as the reflections down below. And then we've got a big tree on this right hand side. A little bit of a reflection below. And you can see by re-wetting it out of the paint has just come down slightly just to give it that more just loosened it up a little bit so patrons don't forget to keep posting your own paintings on the community page um, obviously if you had a go this one I'd love to see your results as well um, also post your reference photos on there as well so we can all have a look and see what you're working from maybe we'll have a go ourselves so until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.